remember Glenn Scarpelli? This guy over here. In this week's video, we're diving into the journey of an actor that graced our screens in some memorable roles, but also inspired a lot of people by embracing his true self as a gay man. Follow the yellow brick road. When did you first ever do anything that you got paid to do in public as a performer? As a performer? Well, I started on Broadway. Way back when. Glenn Scarpelli, born on July the 6th, 1966, in Staten Island, New York, began his journey in the entertainment world at the very young age. Glenn's passion for performing blossomed early on. In 1977, at the age of 10, he made his Broadway debut, appearing in the play Golda with Anne Bancroft. Can you imagine how freeing it must be to know at such a young age what you want to do with your life? I only knew what I wanted to do with my life in my late 30s. Anyway, in 1980, at the age of 13, he got his big break in the hit sitcom One Day at a Time. Not doing any yelling, no temper. All I would like now is quiet, calm truth. You heard about the paddling? Yes. <laughs> Schneider told you. Sorry, kid. <laughs> his charm and talent quickly made him a household name, captivating audiences across the nation. Audiences got to see him grow up before their eyes on TV, by appearing in One Day at a Time, as well as a fantasy comedy, Jennifer Slept Here. You stole my girl. Now I'm going to a Charles Bronson film festival and find out what to do about it. <laughs> he even released a self-titled pop album in 1983, and it looked like he would be the next it boy in Hollywood. As his career flourished, he faced the challenges of navigating his identity in an industry that often demanded conformity, knowing that he was different and wasn't willing to hide it. In 1986, at the age of 20, he decided to come out publicly as gay in a heartfelt statement. He opened up about his sexuality, becoming a beacon of light for so many other young, closeted gay men, navigating their ways through a similar path as his in the dark times that were the 1980s. Confess to Christ. Confess to Christ. I have committed homosexual acts. I have committed homosexual acts. The 1980s were dark times for gay people. They were already being seen as demons, and then the AIDS crisis hit. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS, started as an exclusively gay disease. There is a blood test for the disease. A study of the gay population in New York came up with some horrifying figures. He publicly started dating Gary Scalzo, a talent scout who would be diagnosed with HIV one year into their relationship. He slowly faded from the public eye. A testimony to the fact that being gay in Hollywood was not as easy back in 1980 as it is today especially with the stigma attached to him for dating somebody who was HIV positive. He made a cameo in the 2019 revival of One Day at a Time, but has mostly retired from acting. I hope me? it's going to be a great year for you. Are you going to go out and do personal appearances and stuff where people can see you? Yeah, now that I have the time, I will. I wish you all the very best. Thank, Thank you, Glenn. It's such a thrill to be here. Thank Glenn Tarpelli, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. That way you'll stay up to date as soon as I post a new video. I post new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. For a similar video to this one that I specifically picked out for you, click on this link or try the YouTube suggestion.